This week on Rams 360. It is a Rams game day in Inglewood. My mindset right now is I can't fail. I'm setting an example that, hey, guys like me that look like me can do this job. This flex all that, you know, fast, like I said in the beginning, you know, it's stylish, you all like to be, I like the style, so, you know. All this and more on Rams 360.
coming up next on Rams 360. Try to prepare for a scout team, so I run the offensive scout team, put it in our language so that when I go out there in front of the scout offense, I can say it in our terms so that they can think faster and play faster. My name is KJ Black. I am the coaching fellow working with the offense and the quarterbacks. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First year here with the LA Rams. Good, good look right there. Good job with the cadence. Right hash, right hash, 11-11. Right hash, 11-11. I kind of heard it from a friend that he said, hey, you know, you should apply for this Bill Walsh deal. I'm doing it, you should do it too. So I really applied, not expecting much of it, just doing it just to, you know, say that I did it. I got a call from, you know, Thomas Brown, and we kind of had a, a short interview. He was like, man, he said, you're exactly what I'm looking for. He said, man, I, I want you to come do this internship during training camp and uh, get a chance to put you in the quarterback room and let you learn from, you know, Sean and, and uh, at the time, Kevin O'Connell, who's the head coach now in Minnesota, and be in that room and just learn. Regardless of the situation, you always want to be put in a position to be successful that can ultimately lead to being a coordinator, being a head coach at any level, whether that's in the National Football League, you make a decision to go to different levels of play. And I think that that's the most important thing is placing guys in opportunities to be able to grow both in an entry level position, but also to be able to be in some of those leadership roles. But it's the pathway all right, to get to that point I think is important. My mindset right now is I can't fail. This is really the first year they've used that coaching fellow, right? So I can't, I can't fail because I'm setting an example that hey, guys like me that look like me can do this job and can be a strong candidate to be a part of somebody's coaching staff going forward. Do a rap. You're gonna kick here. Eighty nine's gonna rap. So for me specifically, I'm the drawer. So the staff will come up with the plays that they think would be successful, specifically in the passing game. So early on in the week, I'm doing self-scout stuff. So I'll be tagging the game from the previous week. I'll be you know, making cut-ups, making sure that those are available if somebody needs to go back and look at some previous game uh, cut-ups. Mondays and Tuesdays is all about self-scout and trying to get ahead from an opponent breakdown standpoint. Then I usually get the plays Tuesday night on a good week, maybe Wednesday morning, and they gotta be ready to go you know, within a few hours. We talk about the past pictures. It's one of his big responsibilities. That's something that Every single player, skill player on our offense looks at, studies at every single night. Those are the plays that we have up every week. So, you know, we always talk about taking the pictures to life and creating something different than just plays on a picture, right? The detail that we talk about on these plays, he needs to display in his work. It's really like a piece of art, you know, and it's design. And he's a big part of that design because he's the one that's truly putting it together for our players to see. And after that, I try to prepare for a scout team. So I run the offensive scout team for the defense. I try to get the cards from them, put it in our language, so that when I go out there in front of the scout offense, I can say it in our terms, so that they can think faster and play faster while we get um, in and out of the huddle. Yeah, kind of like, uh, like the Cougar we used to do, toss 18 Cougar. We're going to be the inside side. side board. That's a level of responsibility and coaching that uh, I did myself, Zach Robinson did, you know, Shane, we all did, you know, kind of growing up in this in this organization, and it's an opportunity to coach, because you're the head coach or offensive coordinator of the look team, so you're out in front of the guys, you're coaching them up, you're leading. Should be right in the middle, right? Right in the middle. Hey, 12 in the huddle, 12. 12, 89, 85. I mean, he understands the game. You know, like he, he knows it. He, he's coached and played. To bring that level of experience, you know, gives me a new perspective on uh, different things that I may not see or they may not see. Former quarterback, right? So he, he understands the game. He understands how to communicate to offensive linemen, to receivers, to tight ends, quarterbacks of the different rooms. So he has a natural skill set of communication. That's something that I was uh, a respect right from the beginning that you kind of have or you don't in a lot of ways, and KJ does have that. So I think that will really help him as he moves forward throughout this process, continuing to grow in that role. Bro, I, play, I, got, I took hits too now. I keep telling you I'm faster than you, so I took hits too when I was running. Like, I still feel it. Well, the real Prairie View, please stand up. And the reason I say that is, if you go back to the decade of the 90s, there was an eight-year period in which Prairie View lost 80 games in a row. Over the last three years, they've only lost five, and this year, they have an opportunity to do something they've never done since 1964, and that's win a SWAC championship. Look at K.J. Black. For the last three weeks, he has been the SWAC Offensive Player of the Week. 
You know, once I decided to leave Western Kentucky, I had a couple offers. One of them, or a couple of them, were from HBCUs. So I took visits to North Carolina Central and Prairie View, and and to be honest with you, Prairie View just felt like like home. And if you were to go back in 2009 and really look at what they had to offer, it was nothing that you could touch. I mean, facilities weren't. They literally hid the facilities from me on my visit because it was that bad. But it was the people that I got a chance to try to learn from, to grow with, um, to meet. In the time that I took that visit, I was like, man, this is just a different place. And, and that's what I'm looking to do is, is, you know, set the tone and hopefully somebody else will get opportunity behind me and you know, we can keep it going and, you know, just do our part to continue to inspire change. You are watching Rams 360. The biggest reason has probably been the play of their quarterback. K.J. Black took over in the second half of the second game and has been undefeated as a starter ever since. If they're going to win this championship today, he's going to have to be a big part. Took a chance on a place that didn't have a lot to offer. They had a bad tradition if you really look it up, um, but it ended up being one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. I just felt like they were a quarterback away. And hopefully I could go and, and, and contribute and, and be a part of, of something great, something that will last forever. You know, and we did it. I'm ready for it all. I'm ready for what a Little screen to Favors. And there goes Favors down the sideline. He's in there. 49 yards. Black gets away from it. To the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown. It was awesome. It's something that I always talk about. And definitely glad to be a part of that. Reputation was now starting to go back down after we won that championship, so it was an interesting time. I was working at a little mom and pop video store, and I got a call from the head coach at that time at Prairie View. He was actually my defensive coordinator when I played. He called me and, and asked me if I wanted to be a graduate assistant. And I had not called him and let him know I wanted to do anything coaching. It was just a random call. I knew I was going to coach. My dad was a coach. Being a GA at Prairie View was an experience because at that time we didn't have a lot. We just had the players, we had the football, we had a field. I was blessed to get an opportunity to become an assistant coach my two years as, as a GA. Uh, Willie Simmons was the new head coach, hired me on the spot. And then after three years, Willie Simmons left and went to Florida A&M. I didn't go with him initially, but the second year I went, and that was 2019, and I was his quarterback coach the first year, and then co of the coordinator the last two. Okay, you should be watching the game, you should know what's going on. Even the test will be on just played by Friday morning. All right, and it's gonna be filmed test. I mean, you're going to play a clip. I'm going to ask you a question. You know what's going on. Yeah, I'm not playing around with y'all right now. Come on, put it, put it out there. Put it out there. You fading. Yeah, right, you throw it, right you like, yeah, you're throwing it and you're doing this. Finish all the way through it. In the coaching realm, you know, Willie Simmons is known for his offensive minds, offensive expertise, and being able to work with him, learn from him, learn how he saw the game, different things that he wanted to exploit when he looked at defenses. Definitely, you know, I definitely carry it with me now. Being uh, involved with him and, and, and having that opportunity to coordinate, to run a room, to run a full unit, you know, that, that opportunity definitely helped me, man. And then uh, I did an internship here and then they brought me back. So, it's been a crazy ride so far. All right, I gotta give the disclaimer. I'm hot today. I'm hot. I just told you. <laughs> I would have left. <laughs> Babe, you know I wouldn't do you like that. If it was Bryce, I would have stood right next to him, but I wouldn't do you like that. I think with anybody and everything that you're doing, like you have to be in the right space. And um, coming in every morning, seeing how he operates his tasks on a day-to-day -day basis, um, you know, is, is pretty, it's pretty dope. Because you know, a lot of times you can get kind of stuck in your own, like, okay, like you know, how you're feeling, right? But then you go in, and then you start talking to KJ, and you're like, man, like you know, like those special interactions is what football is about. Special guy. I, mean, I think it's a lot of action that needs to be like taking place. Logos on shirts and logos on, on the fields is a good start, but you know, there's a lot of people that don't feel those those changes, only see those changes on, on the TV, right? If it goes just as far as it's just that, you know, there's not really inspiring any type of change. It's just, you know, for aesthetic and presentation purposes. So um, I think, you know, action is always the first step. And, and that's what I'm looking to do is, is, you know, set the tone and hopefully somebody else will get opportunity behind me and you know, we can keep it going and, you know, just do our part to continue to inspire change.
Coming up next on Rams 360. Here we go. Play fast, physical, and aggressive. Make you finish play. Love you, too, too. Little man mic'd up? Little man, big man, boy. They even so made you a small mic? Yeah. Lock it in! Mount us! Turbo 2-2! Woo-hoo! Got him on the cleat! Hey, hey! Got him on the cleat! Woo! I got him on the cleat today! Woo! Turbo 2-2! What'd you say, Turbo 2-2? Here we go! Turbo 2-2! What'd you say, Turbo 2-2? Here we go! Play fast, physical, and aggressive. Make you finish play. Love you, 2-2! Two, two. Sets up the throw, can't find a target, rolls to his right, he's all alone, now he wins one downfield, and it is caught by Van Jefferson! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Don't stop playing with you! Thought it'd be a good idea to put red trim on it, so you know, I went with it. So you know, I love it. Stay tuned for more Rams 360. originally black but you know I wanted to add my own taste to it and I always wanted matte black and so um, you know I went to my guy Tate in Florida and he wrapped it for me and uh, he just thought it'd be a good idea to put red trim on it so you know I went with it so you know I love it but I just went to the dealership one day and I seen it on a lot and I was like man it's a nice car you know and um, you know I wanted to kind of just after getting drafted you know I wanted to get something that you know I've always wanted and I seen this and you know this is my first choice. Favorite thing about the car you can put in Sport Plus and you know it can go as you want it, um, just the way it rides is smooth, you know, and um, shoot, I just like the car for real, you know, it was just the car that I liked and I picked, but, you know, I think those two factors are, you know, going to make it special to me. You know, I have my kids in there with me, and we'll go riding, but, you know, for the most part, it's just dance car. I always pride myself in being a great father, you know, um, I want to be a great example for my kids, and, you know, uh, you know, they're going to see their dad, you know, doing hard work, and, you know, I want them to have that when they grow up, you know, I always work for what you want, and, you know, that's kind of what my dad taught me, and, you know, my dad was hard on me, so I want my kids just to have that same mindset, so. Uh, my first car was a Jeep. Um, my dad had got it for me my junior year of high school. You know, I, I didn't get my style from anybody else. I kind of just, you know, got it on my own, so, you know, um, sure, I just got my own taste. Well, I'd definitely, you know, get me a drive-in to go, you know, chill my mind a little bit, listen to music, you know, and 
Shoot, this is the car that you can do it in. So, you know, I love going and taking drives and just, you know, clearing my mind. This reflects all that, you know, fast, like I said in the beginning, you know, it's stylish. You know, I like to be, I like the style. So, you know, uh, this car definitely suits me. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next week for more Rams 360.